Hello on Academians, this is me Vignesh NP and I'm here to present the lesson 7 of class 11th biology on the structural organization in animals. This is about me, my name is Vignesh NP and teaching is my passion. I love hearing music and learning something new every day. You can follow me at an academy by hitting the link below. So an animal body exhibits division of labor between cells, tissues, organs and organ system. We have talked about these systems before in the previous chapters. And a group of cell, similar cells that perform a specific function is called a tissue. So also we have discussed before. So this is the introduction. So we will learn about animal tissue in this chapter. There are four types of animal tissue, just four types of animal tissue, broadly speaking. And these are connective tissue, epithelial tissue, nervous tissue, and muscle tissue. We'll learn in detail about each one of them. First of all, we'll learn about epithelial tissue. These are sheet-like tissues that line the body cavities, ducts, and tubes. They have one free surface facing a body fluid or outside environment. You can see in this figure, I have depicted it clearly. There are two types, generally speaking, and these are simple and compound. Next is the connective tissue. And connective tissue, their function is to bind together, support, strengthen, protect and insulate other tissues they have soft connective tissue and consists of protein fibers as well as a ground stuff ground substance as they have protein fibers and a ground substance now there is the other type of connective tissue which is the specialized connective tissue which includes cartilage bone adipose and blood Cartilage and bone, which as you know, functions as a structural material. Okay. Blood is a fluid tissue with transport functions. Adipose is a reservoir of stored energy. Cartilage, bone, blood and adipose. And I have given all the types of connective tissue in this figure. Please learn it. Next is the muscle tissue. M muscle tissue obviously helps in movement of body and specific specific body parts. They are generally divided into three types. Skeletal muscle. Muscle attached to the bones. These are the skeletal muscle. Smooth muscles. These are components of internal organs. Like given in this figure. These are components of internal organs. Cardiac muscles makes up the contractile wall which helps in pumping of blood by the heart these are the cardiac muscles now we will talk about the nervous tissue nervous tissues exerts the greatest control over the response of body these are instrumental in the working of our body and neurons are the basic unit of nervous tissue that's given here now we will talk in detail about different animals and the anatomy or structural organization because in earlier times <coughs> we need we need not learn from the book because in schools uh, they would cut open the earthworms and frogs and cockroaches to learn about it but it's now banned totally so schools does not do that right now so we have just our materials to learn on so moving on First of all, we'll learn about the earthworm. The scientific name of earthworm is Ferritima posthuma and it is covered by a cuticle. <coughs> all segments of its body are alike except the 14th, 15th and 16th segment. 14th, 15th and 16th segment which are thick and granular and forms a structure called clitellum. Each segment has setae which helps in locomotion in movement and on ventral side spermatical openings are present in between the groups of grooves of five and six 
6 and 7, 7 and 8, and 8 and 9 segments. Female genital pores are present on the 14th segment and male genital pore on the 18th segment. Blood vascular system is of close type and they are hermaphrodite in nature. Moving on to the next animal that is a cockroach. Its scientific name is Periplaneta americana and it is also covered by a chitinous exoskeleton. It can be divided into head, thorax and abdomen. Two pair of wings are present, one pair each on second and third segment of the thorax. Thorax has three segments and two pairs of wings are present, one pair each on second and third segment of the thorax. Elementary canal here is well developed with a mouth, pharynx, esophagus, crop, gizzard, midgut, hindgut and anus. And a peculiar feature of cockroach is that it has malfeasant tubules and are present at the junction of midgut and hindgut and helps in excretion. The blood vascular system is of open type and fertilization here is internal. You can look on to this figure for more details. Now, we'll, this time the homework here is to learn more about simple epithelial tissue, learn in detail on specialized connective tissue and I have not talked about the anatomy of frog here as most of the schools leave out the frog. So you can learn about it on your own. So please rate, review and recommend my courses if you like it so that we can carry on this education revolution. Thank you.